Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. It's another how-to video and today it's going to be how to make your own pork frogs. Now I've never done this before. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I've had this idea for quite some time. Every year from Bridgeford, we get a Christmas ham and that ham is an entire shank bone in skin on like 30 pound shank of ham and this year we had the ham and i've had a big chunk of the skin like that sitting in my fridge for quite some time now it has been smoked so it's probably not quite the same thing but i think it's still gonna work so we got to get rid of it. I got to do something with it because my wife has been on me to get it out of the fridge. So I figured why not give it a try finally. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try to cut up some of this into the old pork frog number 11, the Uncle Josh pork frog number 11 size or the jumbo frog and see what we can come up with. I've got some good kitchen shears here and you know, you can see it's still got a bunch of the, the fat on the inside. And I'm gonna you leave that on the upper portion, skin it off the legs, and see what we can come up with. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna see. I got some special sauce I'm gonna put it in at the end. So I'm gonna get to it right now. Got some fat left on the back. See what happens. Number two. All right, guys. So this is what we got. We got a jumbo frog. The two legs sticking out. We got some normal size roughly normal size number 11s and I made some a couple of craw trailers here's a another one and here's a smaller craw trailer kind of messy wish I had a, a paper towel right now but what I'm gonna do is put it in a jar of gulp and let this sit for quite some time I don't know We'll figure out when I'm going to use them next time. But they are going in the gulp. I'm hoping that they will absorb some of that scent. And at the same time, potentially loosen up a little. Because the, the skin part is kind of tough. But I'm hoping that by soaking them, you can see them in there. They're in with some leeches right now. Uh, I'm hoping that that'll soften them up a little bit. And they'll be ready to go. So we're gonna use them here, well, not shortly, but maybe next weekend we'll see if we can get out and put them to use and put them on a jig, see how they hold up. Hopefully we can catch some fish and hopefully they don't tear and they stay on like a true Uncle Josh pork frog. I'm excited to give it a try, so stay tuned. Let's see what we can do with them. All right, we're not fishing yet, but I was telling my wife how I wish I could add color to these baits. And she said, why not just add food coloring? So she got me some food coloring, so I'm gonna add blue food coloring to the Berkeley gulp to see if that stains the pork frogs. I don't know how that's going to work, but, and I know it usually doesn't take much of this stuff to do much, but let's see if it does anything. Do we think six is enough? I have no idea. It says, uh, Number of drops, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough. We're gonna put a little bit more in. I'm just looking at the instructions and it's like for cake mix, 50 drops. Seems like a lot. I mean, it looks blue, whether that's enough to stain it or not. 
I don't know, but we'll see if it we'll see if it does anything. Okay, next time you see us, we'll be fishing. All right, guys, I've got my homemade pork frogs from the Bridgeford ham skin that I had. They've been marinating in a jar of Berkeley Gulp with some Berkeley Gulp leeches for over a week at this point. I can tell you the color looks phenomenal. Whether or not that color holds up, I don't know. But we're gonna see how they turned out. I have yet to look at them. And let's see what we got here. Wow, the color is definitely unique. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is gonna stain my carpet, but so there's a pork frog. They uh, really are very blue. They do feel tough. I thought they might soften up a little bit and they kind of are curling up, but I think we can solve that. I think I can trim that up to maybe make that work better. I don't know, we'll see how they hold up. They definitely are tough. I think they're gonna stay on the hook really good. Yeah, they definitely curled up a little bit. So here's another one. I don't even remember what else we cut. Now this one was, this one's better. This one's not too bad. That one doesn't have as much fat, but that one looks pretty good to me. Here's a craw. The craw looks pretty good too. <laughs> pretty good as well. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna start with. So they look good. They, they actually turned out pretty decent. I'm sure there's some things we can do to uh, soften them up and you know just make them a little bit better but it's a pretty good start now the question is do they catch fish so I've got here this is a dirty jigs Luke Clausen compact pitching jig and I'm gonna put it on there uh, it's definitely tough like it's definitely tough so that's the jig we're gonna start with we're gonna see if we can get anything going pitch some wood here and uh, see what happens hopefully it works On the pork. All right guys, quick update. My camera shut off. I hit it with a tree, and bent my light socket, and it went off at one point. So I don't know what you guys have seen and not seen at this point. I've caught uh, one pike and had like a 16 inch smallmouth that I lost, uh, and I've missed one other bite. We've been out for a little bit, but I have lost several of my baits. Uh, they're holding up really well, but I think the, there's, you know, once you use it, the pork skin, there's a, a holes getting bigger. So every once in a while, you know, you go to set the hook or pull it out of a, out of a, uh, you know, just a snag and the bait's coming off because it's like ricocheting. It's not coming off just from use. It's coming off when the bait goes flying and then the, the line stops the bait and the, the, the trailer keeps going. And uh, so I have lost several, but let's see if we can get one here. Uh, if you didn't see the other fish, I have no idea what we have so far. 
Well, I didn't end up catching another fish for you guys. I did have uh, several bites, as you saw. I should have, you know, I did have a nice smallmouth that I, that I lost, and I caught a pike on it. The baits held up pretty well. Uh, you know, the skin, the skin portion of it held up fantastically. They, I did lose several baits because the hole would get big, and when you, you know, go to make a pitch or so, or hit your bait on something, that bait backed off the past the barb a couple of times, which happens occasionally with an old pork frog. Uh, but there were some things to take from it. One, very much doable. Two, coloring was, that food coloring worked really, really well. The color stayed on the baits really well. Uh, so that worked great. Uh, the biggest issue I had with them has to do more with the texture of that skin. It was not as soft as an old pork frog by any means, but I think there's a few things that I could probably do to soften them up to get a better uh, performance out of them. But really when they were on that jig, they looked good in the water. It was not something that was completely, you know, crazy for me to be throwing. I mean, there were several times I looked at it going, that looks like an old pork frog. So guys, the moral of the story is if you do end up getting a Christmas ham, this upcoming uh, holiday season, you might want to think about saving some of that skin and just making your own pork frogs. It uh, was a fun little project and one that kind of, you know, it, it was a success in terms of how they turned out. I wasn't super happy with my fishing performance. It did seem like the bite was off a little bit, uh, but we did catch some some stuff and had a few bites on it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I do I enjoy doing these crazy ones as well. It's fun to play around and get and let your mind wander and try to do a few things. So if you enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. More tips and tricks coming out tomorrow.